Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about changing fractions to decimals and vice versa. Let's have first decimals to fractions. Okay, for the first question, convert the following to fractions. We have here 45 hundredths. How do we convert this to fractions? First, just read this number, 45 hundredths. Write 45 over 100. That's a trick there. So what number can we divide to make it in lowest term? Just divide it by 5 and you'll get 9 over 20. And that's it. That's so simple. Okay, let's have another one. What if we have 250 thousandths? Then just write 250 over 1,000. 250 thousandths. Next, we do lowest term. We can cancel the two zeros. What's left is 25 over 100. But we can still divide this one by another number to reduce this in lowest term, and that is 25. 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. And that gives us 1 fourth. Easy, right? Okay. Another one. That's 3 and 75 thousandths. Just simply read 3 and 75 thousandths. And you're good to go. Then you are going to write 3 and 75 over 1 thousandths. See? It's easy. Then do lowest term. What number can we divide both number? That's 25. How many 25s are there in 1,000? Let's divide that. Okay, we get 40. We can write 40 then. We'll still write 3. 75 divided by 25, that's 3. And then copy the 40, that which we performed a while ago. So our answer is 3 and 3 over 40. It's really easy. Okay, last one. We get 10 and 5 10 thousandths. So I said just write what you have read. So 10 and 5 10 thousandths. Then do lowest term. What number can we divide both number? That's 5. Okay, 10,000 divided by 5 is 2,000. So our final answer is 10 and 1 over 2,000. Now, let's move to changing fraction to decimals. Let's have the first one. That's 12 over 15. Okay? Let's just do lowest term first so it's easier for us to solve. What number can we divide both number? That's 3. Okay? 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. And 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. How to change it to decimal? Just divide the numerator by its denominator. So we get 4 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.8 or 8 tenths. And that is our final answer. Okay. Next one. We have here 7 eighths. So just simply divide the numerator by its denominator. And we get 7 divided by 8. We can add 0 there. How many 8s are there in 70? And that is 8. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. Then subtract. We get 6. Bring down 0. Because we add 1. Okay. There are 7 8s in 60. We get 56. Then subtract. We get 4. Then add 0. Bring down 0. How many 8s are there in 40, that's 5. 5 times 8 is equal to 40, then subtract. We get 0. Next, our answer will be 875 thousandths. Next one. We have 25 over 75. We can divide this 2 by 25. 25 divided by 25 is 1, and 75 divided by 25 is 3. Then we can change this one to decimal by dividing the numerator by its denominator. If you notice, if you're going to take a look how do we divide, that we always have a difference of 1. 
and no matter what you do it will take you forever to do that and you will still arrive at the same answer which is a difference of one and then if you're going to answer that you will be writing 0.33 with three dots or 0.33 with bar at the top telling us it has no end and we call this decimal as non-terminating decimals okay we will be learning that soon when we have another video okay next let's move on to another one that's 3 and 18 over 90 we can still reduce this one to lowest term and we will dividing it by 2 that's 3 and 9 over 45 we can still divide these two numbers by 9 and this will be 3 and 1 over 5 okay we're ready to change 1 fifth to decimal just divide the numerator by its denominator and we will get 0 0.2 okay we can write this as 3.2 or 3 and 2 tenths and it's easy now it is your turn to solve please write your answer in the comments section for letter a convert 17 over 51 to a decimal for letter b convert 675 thousandths to fraction i'll be waiting for your answer thank you Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!